Hello, so we're ready to proceed uh, with the mission. Let's uh, listen to mission briefing again. Hi, Rock. We are en route to the Spear of Adun. As long as its generators still function, I should be able to bring them online. Once the Spear is fully activated, we must flee from this fallen world. Okay, we get photon cannons and shield battery in this mission, so let's start it up. And the Spear of Adun, actually, after the mission which will be our hub, uh, hub area in, to, in the Legacy of the Void campaign. The Spear of Adun lies dormant beneath the heart of the Conclave. I had hoped to raise it, to secure our victory against the Zerg. But now, it is our last hope for survival. Control. Karax, we have to bring the Spear of Adun online. The first power cell is activating, but the remaining four have been disabled by creep. I see. We have no choice but to clear them. What of our defenses? Unfortunately, they are without power. However, the Spear of Adun support systems can aid us. They will allow us to deploy pylons anywhere on the battlefield. We should deploy one here as soon as possible. Okay, let's do that immediately. These photon cannons can defend our nexus point, Tyrock. They require only a pylon to function. You can warp in a pylon using the Spear of Adun. Press the Deploy Pylon button at the top of your command screen. Our cannons will now fire upon enemies within range. If they become damaged, the shield battery will restore their shielding. These defenses will indeed be vital to our evacuation, but our first priority must be to clear the power cells of creep. Let's drone up. I want and I need actually the cybernetics core. Let's build it. Palan costs 75 energy. We can now transform our gateways into warp gates. This okay. allows us to warp in warriors to any area with pylon power. Of course. Zergling bioforms on approach to our nexus. We must rally our defenses. I am here. You have not enough minerals. I need more gateways. Upgrade complete. You require more. One more simulator. For upgrades. I am here in the shadow. So how should we build it like that? You have not enough minerals. One more like that. I am 
Detecting unpowered warp gates nearby. Constructing a pylon next to them would restore their power, giving us an advantage. The Spear of Adun's deploy pylon ability would be ideal for this. Of course, our probes can always warp in pylons as well. Additional pylons. Okay, let's construct additional pylons. Let's go free it. Very well. Oh, there's no enemy actually here. Our so. forces have discovered a warp gate. Now, we only need to construct a pylon to power it. Warp gate online. We can begin warping in warriors from it immediately, Hyrock. We move unseen. Okay, we'll not engage that position just now. Continue upgrades. Gateway. You require my skills. Yeah, I just need to build a few. Actually, I want shield battery here. To lure them. You have not enough minerals. I am here. Cell is active. The spear sensor array is reacting. Do not deny your destiny, Artemis. So let's say your people have finally found true unity. I am here in the shadows. Sensors online. Wait, what is this? Warp prisms approaching our nexus point. Stalkers, eliminate those warp prisms. is approaching our nexus from the south. Are, the less upgrades will the enemy have. We move unseen. Very wide. Carax, I brought another warp gate online. 
Prepare it for immediate use. In the shadows. I am here in the shadows. I am the void. I am the heart of darkness. Oh no. That ultra was lying in the ambush. I am the heart of state thy I am the voice. I am here in the shadows. Okay, I need more gates. Where, where, where? Here. Oh yeah. I did not make them in this one into warp gate. I think I have all the upgrades. Make just I am the You must construct additional pile. I would advise caution, Hierarch. You are approaching the Zerg's hive cluster. It will be heavily defended. Okay, so enemies attacking my base. How are they holding up? I don't want to attack this position. Struggle no more. Be released from your pain. Okay, we, we drove them up pretty good. So I think we can advance now. Abandoned warp gates are now under our control. Okay, let's you try to lure be, over say. the bridge. Okay, we'll lure the one. Cold is the Okay. 
so uh, where should I put this violence? Who is attacking? And why are you doing that? Actually, try and to move and uh, destroy the enemy bases. It will be a cast. Ca it will be costly, but we'll try to do it for fun. Very wise. So let's lure them. These warpings are so cool. Okay, we need to come back for defense again. We're almost finished, Hierarch. The Spear of a Dune is nearly online. Only one cell remains. cycle of infinite madness has come. Cease your struggle against the salvation I bring. One with the shadows. I think we will move up against the Zerg first. Let's actually clean up uh, the enemies uh, near the power cell so we do not deal them with them. Pretty good. I thought I, I will be saving that, but I was wrong. Okay. So, so let's leave it like that. Let's try. Take out this base. Oh man.
know, man, we lost so much, but we will get an expansion, so we will rebuild. So what these Zerg are just spawning from nowhere? I mean, then we, we should just finish our mission. I was thinking of being a completionist and just destroy the enemy. Ah, and this creep. Okay, we'll get our expansion we here, with the and then we're gonna max out again, and clear up the Protoss base. Guess here 40. Okay, that's gonna be find out soon. So they just came from this like random positions. Well, it's not random, it's a door. Is there any more door? No. actually build up a 
like a wall here, yes. Time. I thought it, uh, it would be faster, but I was mistaken. Okay. Detecting a Protoss presence in that direction. That path does not lead to a power cell. That's okay. build another expansion here but we will just clean up the map and we can go and finish the mission now okay let's go I am the voice of the we are one with that will show Eamon he's all in dock
cool new ship. Okay. So it doesn't say how, how many there, uh, enemies we killed. Oh, that's okay. Sometimes these uh, statistics at the end are kind of random, in my opinion. Inspired Carax, and we will free the Templar. Well, okay, so we get the spirit of a doom. So, the only thing that I'm kind of, you know, I have a questions again. Why wasn't the, this used during the Overman's invasion of fire? You know, if it's so powerful. Well, anyways, so. Okay, um, so let's go actually, shall we go to Core Hall, Shakuras? Let's go to Core Hall, for now. Fire is lost once more. My great vision of reclamation left in ruins. This shall not stand. The Terrans of Core Hall have in their possession the Zelnaga Keystone, which Zeratul foresaw would lead to our salvation. Though I have not seen Commander Raynor in many solar returns, I believe he will give the Keystone to us. Okay. Let's go to Warhol first. Commander James Raynor. Artanis? There. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Friend Raynor, you seem rather occupied. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked reported hybrid leaving them. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition the Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grand. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet, and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. Hierarch, before our armies engage the enemy, it would be wise to review our military capabilities within the War Council. 
Okay, so we are we have uh, finally gained access to our hub area, and like in uh, Legacy of the Void, uh, like in the Wings of Liberty, Hyperion, Heart of the Swarm, Leviathan, uh, we can talk with people and uh, uh, select different of our different kinds of our abilities for our army. So let's start by talking. Karax, even without the Kala's light, I can sense your sadness. The pain. Does the Spear of a Dune bring you no joy? That is just it, Hierarch. Without the Kala, it is as if I am blind. I cannot sense your feelings, know the true depth of your thoughts. I cannot call upon the surety of other face smiths. I am alone. I feel the isolation as well, as though thrashing within the vacuum of space. But you are not alone, brother. To think, the Dark Templar have endured this existence all this time. The days ahead will not be easy. We may not have the Kala to rely on, Karax, but we still stand as one. We will endure. There is no other option. Okay. It seems fate has drawn us together once again, James Raynor. I call it luck. Luck is a concept that is purely human in origin. We Protoss see the synchronicity of events, and know there is a grander design behind them. Well, it don't matter how you see it. The result's the same. So what brought you all the way out here, Artanis? Zeratul believed that the artifact in your possession, the Keystone, he called it, could guide us to the Zelnaga. Where's Zeratul now? The Dark Prelate fell on Ayr. His last hope was that I would continue his quest and find a way to stop Amon. Damn it. Always knew there was only one way this quest of his was gonna end. His loss is great. I know you called him friend. I went through hell to get that artifact because of his damned fool prophecies. Lost a lot of good men. If he wanted you to have it, Take it. It's yours. Right now, though, we got a city to save. Okay. So, we're do now to World Council, yes? A preserver? Released from stasis. She still bears her nerve cords. She is tethered to the collar. Hold. I am Rohana, Grand Preserver of the Valari, and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in command. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought, but I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every ripple. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all Preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylon. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake, if you fall to this corruption, I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here. The assembly panel awaits, Hierarch. We may begin whenever you are ready. So sometimes when I hear this Protoss talk, I... Uh... Just think that, that, you know, they talk too much. I mean, it could be easier to say in a fewer words. Like, let's say when, when Artani said to Raynor, you know, luck is a purely uh, human concept. We 
Protoss, see the great synchronicity, blah, 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 blah. Okay, come on. It's luck. It's luck. I have heard only tales of the Grand Preservers. I did not expect to encounter one aboard this vessel. That is not surprising, Hierarch. My sisters and I are unique. Trained from birth to master every intricacy of the Kala. I have experienced its true depth. Plunged the infinite spectrum and of here they go and again. It is because of this gift we were selected to enter stasis, so that we may guide you in our most dire hour. Your sisters were aboard the other Ark ships? Then they... Are one with the Kala, fallen during the Zerg invasion of Ire. I know this. I feel the tragedy that has befallen us more deeply than you may realize. A terrible burden has been laid upon you, Rohana. Yet it is my fate to bear it. A fate foreseen by the same minds that constructed this vessel. I trust in their wisdom, Hierarch. I will serve my purpose, much as you must serve yours. Okay, so let's look at the assembly the panel. The assembly panel allows you to customize your army based on the Protoss technology we encounter. Select a warrior category to begin. Now you may choose one of the two factions for use in upcoming battles. These assignments are not permanent and can be altered as our combat needs change. Okay, so we get a selection from Zealots and Saturi. The Shadow Guard waits. So so probably Centurions would be better against uh, some heavily armored enemies to stun them, you know. And uh, Zealots are good against swarms of enemies. So I think the Zealots are more all around fighters. Melee warriors that I want. Okay, so let's select the range warrior. We have Stalker. And Dragoons. So the Dragoon, these Dragoons are a little different than the Brood War Dragoons. I think they are slower. They are, they are a lot slower in the attack speed and the move speed. But they have like a... They have more life and more armor. But I still prefer Stalkers for the blink. And they regenerate shield with phase reactor. They store 40 shields or 5 seconds after using blink. So we'll choose that for now. Okay, let's see. I think we talk with everybody. And, yes. So, as usual, uh, we continue the next mission in our next episode. So, thank you for watching and see you there.